has to be talked, spoken about throughout the summer, every single day, guys. Mark my words, this guy is going to be... We're going to talk about this guy every single day, pretty much. Him and Declan Rice, Arsenal's two main targets. That's been proven. We tried to get this guy in January. Brown went an extra 10 million when we never paid it. Um, now, we know that the Zerbi has confirmed that not only McAllister is leaving, but also this man is leaving. Moisés Sacedo is leaving uh, in the summer. Um, as the numerous clubs are looking at this guy, of course, he's a world-class player, phenomenal player. Um, had a great season at Brighton. Um, yeah, player I'll definitely love and take at Arsenal. But obviously, the talk is Arsenal are very close. This, well, I say close. You, you can't really say they're close because we haven't been putting a bid yet for him. But we know that it's not rocket science that he is one of Arsenal's main target, um, you know, going into the summer. And we just know the price tag is going to be quite a bit. If we, if we want to sign Saicedo, his price tag is going to be quite a lot. You know, he's, he's, he's going to be around 90 million, maybe even 100 million. His value is going to go up, obviously, than it was in January. January, I think they wanted 85 or 80 million for him. And we only paid, we, we only offered him six, uh, 70 mil. And that obviously got rejected and they wanted more. That's in January. Now, obviously, he's had a fan fantastic season. His value is always going to go up, in it? So, he's going to be about 100 mil. Um, I would like Arsenal to obviously get both Declan Rice and Saicedo. Realistically, I see us getting one. One or the other. Do you know what I mean? Um, because we, see, we know that Rice is worth 120 million. That is his value for Declan Rice. Now, we've been given only 200 mil to spend. I know we're going to sell some players as well to raise more funds. But we've been only, apparently we've, we've been only given onto Edu. They've only been given 200 mil from the owners, from Stan Kroenke and, and all that. And Josh Kroenke, 200 mil is the price that Arsenal have been given for this summer. So I don't, when people, I mean, we need both. Yes, we do need both. And I want both, of course. But I'm looking at it realistically. Do I see Arsenal getting both? So I said, and Declan Rice. No way. If Rice is worth 120 million, this guy's going to be worth about 90. You know? And if we sign two midfielders in the summer, we still need more than two midfielders. We need the striker. We need the defender. Like, we're going to need six to seven players, elite players, to really um, improve our squad depth and, you know, so, so, so make sure that we do challenge in the, in the competition next season. In the Premier League, we challenge again. In the Champions League, we actually challenge and put in a, and compete for it. You know, FA Cup compete. With the squads that we've said so that squad that Man City have, for example, you know to see it that way how they can rotate. But yeah, so I say that for me, what I love about him the most is his aggression. Yeah, people will start moaning about the game when, when we got battered three 0 by them the other week, and when he obviously almost in well we injured Martinelli or whatever, whatever. Right. The point is, the guy's aggressive. I, I know he's South American, but the guy is aggressive. We need a player like that in our, in, uh, in, in our side that's going to grab a game by a scruff of the neck. If the game's not going well, he'll grab it by the scruff of the neck. And at least if we are playing shit, yeah, at least I can count on this guy to show... You know, there's the, the same before, yeah, where we were really, really bad. You know, you're not fit to wear the shirt. Players don't play for the badge. But let me tell you something now. This guy will come to Arsenal, and if we're having a bad game, he will definitely fight for the badge. I've seen enough of this guy already. You know, I watched him in the World Cup for Ecuador, World Class for Ecuador, for Brighton. He fit really nicely on the Deserby, played really nicely on the Grand Potter as well. Um, we can really work our system as well in that midfield. It's got to be, I, if, between me, right, uh, my opinion is, if someone asked me, who would you prefer to get in the summer and you only had to choose one, which is most likely going to happen, would you rather get Declan Rice or Saicedo, guys? This is a question to you guys as well. Would you rather get Saicedo or Declan Rice? I'm more tempted to say... that he, It's a tough one. Go and get both. That's my argument. But <laughs> nah, if I had to pick one, I'd probably lean towards Declan Rice. But this guy should also be one of our main priorities. We should actually get both of them in the summer. It would be amazing to get both of them in the summer. If we get both, my confidence level is going to go skyrocket. You know, my confidence, my confidence level for next season will go, will increase rapidly. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, so I say though, 
he's definitely leaving. That's that's a fact that we know, guys. He's not staying at Brighton next season. He's going to be in a different club shirt next season. Whether that will be going to a club like Man United, who knows, mate. You know, Man United, Man City, don't know where he's going to go. You know, Chelsea might be in for the guy. Arsenal are definitely one of the main clubs in, interested in the guy. We know that. And we was interested in January. And we all thought it was going to get done in January, but it never did. Um because we didn't pay the, the extra, I think it was 20 million they wanted extra on top, 15 million. I can't remember to be to be precise, but yeah, simple as that, guys. Um, we need we need to get this guy. I will pay 90 million for the guy, or however, however much Brian want to send him for. Uh, because yeah, I said he's aggressive. You know, he's physical. You know, he can actually dictate the midfield as well. I reckon he'll work good alongside someone like Declan Rice next season or Thomas Partey. For me, so I said, oh, he's young as well. Can't forget his age as well. The whole project youths. He's young as well. So, for me, Saicedo is a uh, definite and must buy for me in the summer. Been a big fan of him ever since I think they beat us 2-1 last season at the Emirates. That's when I've really got to watch him. Uh, not this season, but last season when they beat us 2-1, guys. you remember that game? And he and he ran the show, and obviously in the, in the World Cup as well for Ecuador. Yeah, he had a great World Cup. So, yeah, Saicedo for me is a definite must-get. So, yeah, let me know, guys, your thoughts on Saicedo down below. Um, and, uh, yes, make sure you keep hitting the like buttons up. Um,